Assalamu alaikum. And uh, welcome back all. I'm expecting your blessed health. So yes, Danish and Zia, please proceed. Yes, sir. So Zia, yeah, why you have so tense? Uh, yes. Um... My exam is near, so that's why I'm so concerned about that. Oh, so how can I help you? Uh, no, no, thank you. Uh, I don't need your help. <laughs> I'm fully okay, prepared so... for my exam. Oh, so you, you have so much pressure on you for for the exams. Uh, yes, uh, it is, but uh, I'm fully prepared. Uh, everything is good. Oh. Okay. I think we should we should mind if uh, I'm a little bit confused. Yeah. Okay. okay. So if uh, you. Thank you very much. Huh? Okay. Your wife is not coming. Uh, sorry, I was muted. Uh, yes, Mr. Zia, you told me that you, nobody can help you. No, use the expression that you are learning from these conversations or vocabularies. For example, look at here. If you want to say no, you can say, I guess no one can help me but myself. If you want to say no, no, you cannot help me. Nobody can help me. So you can say, I guess no one can help me but myself. Clear? Now let's go to the, I was all over the bed. Oh, the whole night last night. It means I didn't sleep the same situation. I didn't sleep. I didn't care. Mr. Zia, we did, we use the first verb. We did not use the first verb. So we say, I didn't care. And you didn't care, that's why the light went off. Okay. So uh, it means I was all over the bed the whole night last night. It means I wasn't the bed, but I couldn't sleep. So what is the storyline? Sylvia broke up with the Paul, so she couldn't sleep last night. Hmm. Now let's see. Sylvia, your eyes look swollen, like just a matter swollen because I couldn't sleep my sleeping hours uh, because my brother in law is present. So I'm just hanging till. Late, late night, that's why. I broke up with Paul last night and I was all over the bed the whole night. Well, it's understandable, but Paul isn't the kind of guy that deserves your heartache. Heartache. I'm like, Sindhya Bandha, you deserve your heart. Come on, you'll find a nicer guy soon. Well, I was restless because I was thinking how I was so stupid that I almost trusted the rest of my life to him. Oh, Sylvia, the friend is expressing. Something like that. So let's practice the same as it is. Yes, Mariam and Naya, please. Uh, sir, what is the meaning of Paul? Paul is a guy, is a person name. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, Sylvia? Sylvia is also a name. No, sir. Um, okay. How we pronounce it? Uh, Sylvia? Sylvia. Okay. Yes, okay, Maria. Sylvia. Sylvia broke up with Paul and she couldn't sleep that night. Sylvia, your eyes look swollen. Uh, what happened? I broke up with Paul last night and was, uh, was all over the bed the whole night. Well, it is understandable, uh, but uh, Paul isn't the kind of uh, guys uh, that uh, deserve your heart uh, heartache. Come on, you will find a, a nicer um, guy soon. 
well i was restless because i was thinking how i was so stupid that i almost uh, trusted the rest of my life to him oh uh, selvia selvia okay sir uh, how can we pronounce it selvia selvia yes okay Okay, it's not important to call the Selvia name. You can call each other's name and you can change the situation as well. For example, now you will change the situation, okay? The next is Zia yeah, and uh, Danisa. Hey, you, your eyes look swollen. What happened? So you can say, like, uh, I, I, I took the test very wrongly. Or, for example, my father, I, you know, scolded me, scolded me, Dantna. Or I fought uh, with one of I, I have done the argument with one of my friends. I have done the argument with one of my neighbors. You, you have to change the situation. Bring the situation, tell the situation that situation made you uh, made you unable to sleep. Clear? Zian Danish. Yes, sir. Tell the situation. Yes, please. Well, the situation is uh, my father is sick. So I'm okay, wait, uh, wait, worried wait, wait. about it. Yes, very good, very good. Now, this kind of situation. Yes, Zia, practice. Okay. I will start with uh, your eyes look swollen. Next. Of yes. yes. Anish, uh, your eyes look swollen. What happened? Yeah. Actually, uh, my father sick last night. So I was uh, really tense and I didn't sleep the whole night. So I cannot see anything. Sorry? I cannot say anything right now. You cannot say anything or you cannot find the words? Uh, sir, right now I'm feeling a uh, pressure on my mind and feeling confused. So that's why. Okay. Uh, Danish. Your eyes look so swollen. What happened? Sir, actually, my father sick last night. And uh, that's why I didn't, I was over the bed whole night. All right. Now, calm yourself. You're not supposed to become worried. Because each and everything is happening by the permission of Allah. And yes, Allah himself said in the Holy Quran that I have given you the universe to study about it. Now, I don't, I don't mean like for you shouldn't become, uh, you should become so, you know, lax. But over here, I mean that you have to control the situation by going and talking to him and taking him to the hospital. And if you are making him mentally happy, then uh, the physical issues will be vanished in a very less time. The physical problems are going to be vanished easily. But the mental, if you can provide some mental happiness, that would be so nice to your father. Uh, well, uh, actually, uh, I was thinking about why we have not, not to have the vaccine before. And uh, we have wasted uh, two months and now this uh, sickness uh, is happened. Mm -hmm. uh, well, these are the situation which are unbearable and uncontrollable. But yes, you are supposed to say yes. Yes. All right then. Okay, sir. Yes, fine. Now let's go to the vocabulary. Addiction is a noun, addicted is the adjective. Addiction means adi. Addicted means adi ho chuki hai banda. Addiction adats. Addicted adi. So how can you give the example like this of addiction? For example, there are lots of youngsters who have got the addiction of drug. Addicted. For example, I am addicted to sleep late. My younger sister Habiba is addicted to wake up early in the morning. I'll. 
Aisle means the long passage, the narrow passage is called what? Aisle. Now, aisle can give you at least uh, how many ways? Like if I can explain my video, it would be so nice. Aisle can give you at least two, three meanings. Like how one aisle is a long, narrow way. Clear? Clear? When you go to shopping mall or market, supermarkets, so there are some stains, right? Stands behind with you know, stains of uh, hygiene products, shampoo products, food products, fast food products, frozen food products, junk products. I right. So if you ask that, if you don't know, if you are new to that market, that supermarket, if you're asked, you're looking for a toothpaste and you don't know where is the toothpaste, you can say, excuse me, where is the toothpaste? So the worker will say the toothpaste is in, in aisle two, in aisle one. So that aisle that they're providing, that is also having the narrow space in shopping markets, in shopping market, that is also aisle. Third, uh, church the place of Christian people, they worship. In church, there is also a long, uh, narrow way. From two sides, there are benches, and then there is a way. So that is also called aisle. Clear? But mostly aisle is used for uh, narrow streets, and also used for shopping markets and all. And also in uh, church, depending on the situation. Then the next one we are having, boom. Boom means when you increase the amount of anything that is called Boom. Like how would you like to give the example of regarding boom? Inflation has boomed one year ago. Inflation is Mengai. Inflation has boomed one year ago. Boutique. Now what is boutique? Boutique is a small shop that sells the festival things. Like you know what is the yeah, I understood. Relax yourself. Again, okay. boutique. Boutique is a small shop that is selling fashionable clothes. That is called boutique. Now, chain store is a very beautiful uh, word for you. Now, what is the beautiful word for this chain store? Uh, chain store, it's a group of shops, but the owner is same, but the owner is one. Or the line of shops, for example, there are four shops. One, two, three, four, four shops. But the, if the owner is same, that is called, those shops are called chain store. That's called chain store. That also happens in markets and plazas. You can find such stores that there are a mix of three, four stores. They have uh, combinedly got one shop. So that is called chain store. You can easily find in your places. Absolutely, sir. Yes. Uh, can you say departmental store? Also? Yes. Departmental store as well, very good. Then the next one you are having charge. Charge uh, means uh, that you are charging Jurmana, in which you are saying simple is that. And second charge, maybe when the phone, when the devices are getting the electricity, that is also called charging. Two meanings. I have already defined you. If I didn't define, so I'll explain by tomorrow. In English, we are having two things that you have to understand. One is denotative meaning. One is connotative meaning. I will let you know by tomorrow. Okay, not tomorrow, just right now. Uh, denotative meaning. <clears throat> denotative meaning, it gives the dictionary meaning to you. It gives the what? Sorry. It gives the dictionary meanings. Denotative. Like how, if you write the meaning of fan, F-A-N, fan, that will give the meaning of air, which is over the air, air. The second, if I say I'm the fan of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa alayhi wa sallam. But over here, but over here, it means what? That I'm the fan. It gives the suggested meanings. Suggested means like situational meanings. Like if I told you I'm the fan of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or he is me, I'm the follower of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So charge, denotative meaning means what? That you have defined. And this charge as connotative, it gives in the devices are getting that charging. Like, how are you? I'm fine. Denotative meaning fine means what? Well, the police officer has fined me. Connotative, uh, connotative meaning is what? Charging. 
in it in english we have these concepts furthermore we are having sell sell means like uh, when you sell the thing on cheaper prices ek to sell hai bejna ye sell hai ye sell 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 jo aap kam kimat mein bechte hain aur asal mein uska naam hai auction nilami auction means nilami when there is auction there is nilami save up save up means when you economize the money economize is the beautiful word for save up <coughs> when you are saving the money that means that is economize okay shopaholic a uh, beautiful word who is shopaholic shopaholic is a person who is always asking for shopping 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 and shopping that person is called shopaholic and luckily in my uh, house no one is shopaholic and i hope there is someone in your family who is shopaholic shoplifting shoplifting means shoplifters are those people who are robbing the things from the shops like uh, most of the schemes have come through video cameras like mostly the females they put the stuff in the bag or the men they put the stuff in their carton shoplifters shopper shopper means buyer customer okay window shopping is a very beautiful word and i really enjoy this what is window shopping you go to a market you go to a place but you have no intention to buy anything you just look at the window and enjoy that is called window shopping like if you mostly go to the mari site or visit tandiani and other places narang ka khan right when you are going there so when you are going to do a market so you have no intention to buy but you just see the market that is called window shopping like mostly on eid days the youngsters they do the mock window shopping catwalk what is catwalk catwalk is a stage where the models the fashioners walk in that stage that is called catwalk then chick hmm chick is a nice word equal shopper bag what is bag i do not understand the bag i'm sorry chick chick means a person who is so stylish that is called chick jo stand stand zyada karte ho that is called chick person then the next one you are having collection collection means when you are collecting the group of same thing that is called collection when you take the group of the same things that is called collection unfortunately i have no collection yeah sorry i have collection of books i have group of same books yes Okay, crazy is a very beautiful word. Now, what is crazy? If something is popular for a short period of time, that is called craze. If something is what very prominent for a short period of time, that is called craze. Like uh, when it, like if I talk about three weeks ago, two weeks ago, there was craze of Idulaza. Okay, what what is the craze nowadays? Okay, what is the craze nowadays? Mosam kaisa hai? Mosam kaisa hai? This is the craze nowadays. then the next one we are having festival a okay, crazy ek ye bhi hai craze uh, arthur kapoor is about this craze tha arthur festival means a person who is so fashionable a uh, fashion conscious oh ho this 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 word fashion conscious now what is a fashion conscious fashion conscious are those people who care about everything they wear हर एक चीज के मामले के बारे में लोगों से पूछताछ करते रहते हैं वेडिंग दे टू कॉल टू थ्री ड्रेसेस ओके मॉम विच वन दिस वन दिस वन दिस वन और दिस वन विच वन दिस वन दिस वन दिस वन दिस वन दिस वन दे आस्क फ्रॉम पीपल विच वन शुड आई वियर इज इज गुड Is this good? Not good. Fine. Okay. What should I do if I do like this or this? That is that person is called fashion conscious. When I was uh, studying in school, uh, there used to be a drama. Sorry, uh, there used to be an age of this brain medicine. So, the husband was having. The husband came from the office and he was feeling tired and he was so having headache. He had headache. 
So the spouse took out the dress and asked from the husband, I'm going to the wedding now, which one should I wear? So the lady was saying, Sardar, 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 Sardar. It was a advertisement of the discipline medicine at that time. So that lady was patient conscious. You know, in every family, there is at least one person who is patient conscious. The last one is what? Image. Image ek to tasweer hai, dusra image aapka kirdar ko bhi kehi sakenge hai. Log aapko jis, okay. Image means the way the people see about you. That is also image. Mera image kharaab ho raha hai. Mandab, log mujhe kis nazar se dekh raha hai. Okay, any question please? Sir, what is the meaning of uh... Yes, what, you, what is the meaning of? Shoplifting. Shoplifting means uh, uh, the, uh, a person who is robbing from the shops. Okay, sir. Yes. Uh, yes, please. Any question? Any, anybody? No, sir. All right. If no question, I will send you this and uh, in the group. Now let's come to the dealing with lust and greed. Up to page, will be discussed, right? Chapter one, the definition of appetites and their different categories. Now, what is an appetite? Over here, Moana Krish is defining the appetite. What is an appetite? It says, an appetite is the desire of the lower self to obtain something which it imagines will satisfy it or give it enjoyment. Wow, what a beautiful definition is given of appetite. Appetite is what? It is our self thinking that yes, if I obtain, if I achieve this thing, so that will make me happy. That is an appetite. Now, see yourself thinking, if I have that mobile, that will make me happy. If I have that kind of house, if I make me happy. If I wear that kind of dress, that will make me happy. That is your appetite. People say, this food accord with so and so's appetite. Okay, one appetite is I told you that you're taking it in the hotels as appetizer. The starting of the food is called also called appetizer. Meaning that what he or she really likes in this setting. The human self accords great importance to its appetites. It means in the hotels, when you go to the hotel, at the starting you are taking green tea, at the starting you are taking water, at the starting you are taking soup, whatever. Those are your appetite, appetizers. All over here, Molana Kishki is saying, in the same case, the humans, ourselves, humans, we also have some appetites. Before starting to live the life, we need some basic things. Hold on, I say. If the appetite has given free reign, free hand, people will continue to seek more and more of what will lead to them to destruction. If you receive that, your desire is free with the page of them. So at the end, you will come to the destruction. What do you mean by destruction? Molana is explaining. They will be destroyed because they will go beyond the limits and leave the right path. If you 
or if your wishes are going to be boom, of course, you are going to be distracted from the right way. If you are looking for too much comfort, then you cannot fight with the hardships. It is therefore necessary for people to curb their appetites and hold themselves to contentment with little. If the appetites are going to be in limit, so their contentments are going to be what? Little. Contentment means khushali. So uski khushali bhi kam honge. Aista se chizhe ke saath shukur karta rahega. Agar zyada chizhe milna shuru ho ke ek dam, to na shukri mi aega. Ya parenge, that's enough. The more you give the lower self, the more it wants. If you keep it used to little, it remains contents. If it, the more you give the lower self, the more it wants. If you keep it used to little, it remains content. It's a Muslim insan. You explain this this means that the lower appetite should always be kept and checked by impregnable bulwark of the intellect. Ab intellect kya hai? I told you aapki zehni growth. That is your intellect. They are necessary as fuel for life in this world, but anyone who constantly gives and to them become addicted to this world and happy with it alone at the expense of the next world. Man is both spirit and body. His spirit wants him to raise to sublime heights and to be given its own requirement in the terms of Quran and pure Sunnah and various good actions as his praise, fasting, zakat, maintaining ties of kins. So over here, it is simply saying, if you are asking for more thing, if you are not receiving the more thing, then over here, you will not be spending your life in a happy way because you will be depressed because you are not receiving more. Kinship, truthful speech, kindness, gentleness, and a forbearance and keeping contracts. These things are also important, rather to ask you for wishes as well. Okay, any question, please? So what's the meaning of sublime? Sublime is special. Prime and sublime, particular. I think it's enough for today, okay? And I'll forward that this book uh, to the Satanish. So thank you so much for joining the session today. May Allah bless you. Bless your family. Bless the entire globe. Take care. Allah Hafiz. And see you, Aman Allah. Allah bless you, sir. Yes. See you, Aman Allah. Take care. Allah bless you.